Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is going to be a video series where I'm going to program data structures. So I've done a video, okay, or done several videos where I whiteboard data structures, where I conceptually kind of go over what they are and how I would dry them on a whiteboard. That's in my computer science playlist. Now in this series what I'm going to do is in JavaScript, so some knowledge of fundamental programming concepts and particularly JavaScript is assumed. I'm not going to go over how JavaScript works in this, this series. I will be going over uh, different data structures. Okay, so uh, today I'll probably maybe I think we can squeeze in two because these are going to be two simple ones. Okay, and that'll be like a stack and the queue. Okay, now a stack. Think of it like a stack of paper. Okay, if I pile one sheet of paper on one on the next, the piece of paper I just added is at the end of the pile but which when I remove something from the pile of paper which one do I remove the one that I just recently put on the top okay so I'm always adding to the end of the stack and I'm always removing from the end of the stack okay and let's see here so let's set up a new file we'll call this a stack.js what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class. Because even though these, structure, these structures are really honestly used underneath these languages to create these languages a lot of the times, um, they're still useful for thinking about how to work with data. Okay, At the end of the day, like how often will you build particularly a stack or a queue? Maybe not that often, because oftentimes they're already implemented in other structures, you know, um, underneath the hood of an array or an object or something like that. But understanding them will help you understand how to work with your data better, how to think through how data works better. Okay, so I'm going to create a new class. We'll call it a stack. Um, and that's just going to be a stack. So it's class stack. Okay, and essentially the way a stack works is you have a pile of information. Okay, which is, sounds like an array. Okay, at the end of the day, under the hood, it's very much like an array. Okay. So in that case, we will have a constructor. Which will take in an initial piece of data. OK. And what we will do is we'll just here, we'll say, we'll have a property called data. This dot data equals a new array with initially just the initial piece of data in it. There we go. In the stack, we'll have two methods. We'll be able to add things to the stack, which is to push. So we'll add push, okay, which we add a new piece of data. Okay. And that's super exciting. We can just use the array date the the array method push. So this dot data dot push the new piece of data. and pop that removes a piece of data so that we don't need any argument and that would just be this dot data dot pop okay and that's what pretty much all stack does okay um and then i want to return the result of pop okay and then we want to we want to assume like in javascript everything's public so people can just access this dot data directly but um, you don't want to assume that when you're creating these data structures. So in other languages, you have to denote what things are public and private. So I would probably say this dot data is a private member. It's a private piece of data that you can't access directly. So that way people don't try to manipulate it in ways that I don't want them to manipulate it. I only want them to use these methods to manipulate it. So what I might do is I'll just add a method called inspect that all it does is console.log this.data. So you can see what the data is, but the only way to actually consume the data is to grab the thing on the top. So I'd have to pop the top, which would return me that value. I can work with it, but I have to like remove everything that's on top first. Cool. So now we have that. 
so then we can actually use it. So const my stack equals a new new stack. And again, the initial piece of data will be one. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my stack dot push two. I'll just copy and paste this a few times. Three, four. And I mean, I guess technically now JavaScript does have private members, so I could do this if I remember correctly. Okay, which means that it'd be like this here. Okay, which makes that private. So now I can't access that directly. I don't think this still works yet in the browser, but it does work in Node and TypeScript. Um, cool, my stack dot push. And then if I try to console.log the whole thing, so first we'll do inspect. Okay. And then I will console.log. What if I try to grab the first item off the top? So I do uh, my stack dot pop. Let's open up the terminal. Okay, and node stack.js private field data must be declared in an enclosing class is it not oh I think I have to do this data equals this okay and then I would just do this dot push initial Let's double check. I think that's what I need to do. Inspect is not defined. Did I spell it wrong? Inspect. Oh, I didn't write my stack. You can tell I literally just woke up. Okay. Save. Okay. And there we go. So let's run through this. Okay, so I pushed four, three numbers. So it's one, two, three, four. Then I console log inspect, which actually I don't need to console log that because that function doesn't return anything. Okay, so I inspect so I can see what's in the stack, but I can only remove four. Now let's see what happens if I try to access one of the other members. So if I did this, if I said console.log my stack dot data, and actually it would be data zero okay won't let me see it's going to say private field data must be declared in an closing class okay which is which it is it's just the problem is you can't use it outside of that enclosing class okay so which is what i'm doing now so it's saying hey i can't use this data so the only way to, for me to grab data outside of this in the stack is to pull it from the top so it's really a stack of, like a stack of paper i have to start with the piece of paper on the top so the only way for me to get to three or to back to one would be to have to remove everything else first. Okay, so if I do that, see I have to do everything else first. So that's that's a stack. Okay, cool. Actually, I'll wrap this video up here and just do a separate video for a queue. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.